Hello, happy to be here. My name is Marla Neufeld and I am a Florida surrogacy attorney. Today I'm going to talk about surrogacy deliveries at birthing centers. So I'm finding that more and more often surrogates typically are asking to have the delivery occur at a birthing center. Um, and I think that can be a wonderful thing. I do think that it's extremely important that the concept of the birthing center be discussed early on in the process prior to anybody entering into a contract to make sure everybody is fully on board, fully understands what the birthing center does so that everybody's comfortable and it doesn't create any tension later on down the road. So for example, an intended parent going through this process where the surrogate is asking to deliver at a birthing center, they really need to understand and be fully comfortable with that whole concept. It's very different from a hospital delivery. So you don't want to agree to something in a contract and then later kind of squirm out of it or get too nervous, whereas you know the surrogate's hoping to have this birthing center delivery because it makes her comfortable so everybody truly has to be on the same page at the beginning of the process. So it might be important for the intended parents to speak to the birthing center that the surrogate's hoping to deliver at before they even get into contracts so that they understand how it works, how insurance works, how much it costs, making sure it's in network, and under what circumstances will the birthing center require uh, the surrogate to then be discharged and deliver at a hospital in many instances that might be even governed by their own policies or even state law of what requires a hospital delivery. So I think the more knowledge the better at the beginning um, is very important. And within the surrogacy contract I think it's important to spell out um, as between the parties so there's no surprises under what circumstances will the surrogate contractually agree to deliver at a birthing center because there may be the situation where the birthing center will not accept the delivery, and that's obviously something that um, they have to the surrogate has to comply with. But there might be certain situations that the parents would want um, a hospital delivery regardless of what the birthing center says. For example, um, some like slightly higher risk pregnancy, something that the clinic deems high risk, um, possibly. Uh, the parents and the surrogate agreeing that throughout the pregnancy they might get a second opinion from an OB and seeing if the OB for some reason recommends hospital delivery. So I think the more this um, topic is discussed amongst the parties, it will provide for a smoother uh, delivery process throughout. And it's also important when delivering at a birthing center that everybody understand what the backup hospital will be so that there's no surprises there either and to ensure that not only the birthing center accepts the insurance of the surrogate for her care and for uh, the parents' insurance for the baby's care, but that the backup hospital also accepts the surrogate's insurance for her medical care and the parents' health insurance for the baby's medical care should the parties have to resort to that backup plan to deliver at a hospital. So, absolutely important to discuss this amongst the parties, to discuss the birthing center options with the respective attorneys involved. It might even require um, discussion with the mental health professionals, for everyone to fully wrap their brain around this uh, process, which for some might be a little more unconventional, um, but it's doable. I think it just requires a lot of communication. And as a side note, I could have mentioned this before, but um, the use of a midwife at a hospital is also something I think it's important to bring up at the beginning of the process because it sparks the question of who's paying for the midwife? Is there a certain budget allocated to the midwife? Will the midwife um, possibly um, be the one person allowed in the delivery room at the exclusion of the commissioning couple? So I guess the takeaway from this is communication is key. Discuss these issues at the beginning. Let your attorneys know at the beginning and everybody should have a wonderful journey, whether the delivery occurs at a birthing center or ultimately at the hospital. Thank you.